Hey guys, Dark Recycling FPV, and I had a customer just write me about something. Jeff and I are sitting here talking about it. I said, you know what? We're going to do something about it. It's about his VTX, and it's going to be a very quick video on how to test a few things to test. And I'm just going to use a piece of paper and a pen. I'm not going to get all high tech on this thing. And I barely even had a piece of paper. This has already been written on, so I'm using the back side. But here's the deal. So let's say you have your VTX, and you have your FC, and you have your goggles, right? Okay. And you turn on your VTX and your FC. Everything's on. But all you get is a black screen, okay? Now, if you're running analog, you will get uh, the snow if there's no signal usually, and then you'll get a black screen if there's signal, okay? So just pay attention to what I'm doing here. It's, I know it's hard to read, but anyways. So here's what you do. So usually a VTX, so let's say you have your camera. Let's just put a big, big square here. Uh, I don't know how you draw a camera, but here, old style camera, right? Okay, so you have a camera, and there's, let's say, three wires that come off. You have one, you have two, you have three. So you have plus five, let's say, or whatever it is. Then you have ground, and then you have your video. Now, in the FC, you have your inputs here. So you'll have a video in, and then your video out, and then a plus and a minus, okay? Then you have your VTX. Your VTX has video in, uh, not a video out, sorry, and a plus and a minus, right? So here's what happens. Usually, the VTX will go, don't, don't write it now, it's too late. Oh, no, no, you don't get right. to jump in now. <laughs> Just kidding. So here's what it is. So your video in, your video out from your camera goes into the video in of your flight controller. Babe, will you turn that down real quick for me? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then your video out from your flight controller goes into your video in on your VTX, right? Then you have your plus whatever it goes. So as long as we know that the voltage is right, the next thing we want to do is we want to cut our video in and we want to and, and remove our video out and we want to take the camera and go directly into the VTX. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to go from camera to VTX, okay? So skip the flight controller altogether and see if when you hook these up, do you get video, all right? If you get video when you take your wire, your video out from your camera and go into the video in of your VTX, then you know that the problem is going to be somewhere on the flight controller. Could be in, it could be in if you have dual camera mode, could be in which camera you activate it, it could be a bad pad for all you know. But this is what you would do to test to see if your VTX is good, especially if you don't have another drone to test it on. On the other hand, let's say that you have um, a black screen and you want to know if your VTX is working, right? So you want to test the video out only to see if the video out from the flight controller is, being, is, is working to the VTX. So to do that, do your um, smart audio, okay? If you do your smart audio, which is left stick to the left and right stick straight up, I believe, um, or is it down, one of the two, when everyone gets the smart audio screen to come up, if you see that screen come up, even though it's black, if you can make the smart audio screen come up where you can change your channel and so forth, then you know that the VTX is working and you know that the video out on the um, flight controller is working. And if you've already tested the camera, this customer already replaced his camera and still has a black screen, if you can get the smart audio display on your goggles, then the problem is most likely going to be your video in on your flight controller. And you need to either, if you have two of them, try another one, uh, or at the very least, go to your CLI, type defaults. Now this is all erasure configuration, so make sure you, before you type defaults, make sure you do a diff and then copy and paste. Okay. Sorry, this is my way of keeping notes, but... Anyways, if you do that, if you do the defaults and put your flight controller back to default mode, then you can see if your video comes back. Maybe there's something wrong or something disabled or what have you, or some kind of glitch in it. But in either case, so you can test if your camera and VTX, if you want to test if those two are working, eliminate the flight controller and just attach them directly to each other with that video cable. Uh, if you want to test if your flight controller output is working, then you want to try to just activate your smart audio when you see a black screen and see if you see the smart audio menu come up. If that works, then it's going to be your video input. If nothing works, uh, then you're out of luck and you need to start getting, you could try a new VTX first and go that route, or you could try a new camera, which he already did. But one of these three is going to, one of these methods is going to figure out which one is bad and you take it from there. All right, guys, if you have any questions, let us know. Uh, you can always head on over to our Facebook groups page. And please, as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Other than that, God bless, be safe, and go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left, so make the most of it. And we will see you later. Peace.